What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Series TV. This is day five or day six here in Africa. We've kind of lost track, but yesterday was pretty slow. We didn't see much. The wind was just shifting all over the place, but I'm tired of watching everyone else shoot stuff. It's time for me to take my bow out. This is only my second time taking the bow out on the trip. Um, in the last episode, you saw Seth shoot the Springbuck and the Impala. And on that hunt, we saw a beautiful sable. And I've always wanted a sable. So I showed Ryan the footage. He was just kind of skirting out around side of us. He never came in. But he said that if this bull comes in, it's going to be a great one to take. He said it's a really old bull, well past his prime. You can even see his hip bones. So he's just getting old. Hopefully he's going to come in today. And if he does, he's going to get a tough head at 20 yards. So let's go. So we're dropping off Colt and Matt first at the air blind. They're going after um, Niala and who knows what else today. So after we drop them off, we're gonna head to our blind. All right, we're here. It's time to get in the blind and hopefully get a shot off. that's kind of been hanging around the area. When Seth shot the Springbuck and the Impala, we saw him kind of skirt the outside of the area. So we know he's here. We know he's probably gonna come in at some point. It's just gonna be a waiting game to figure out when he does and hopefully we can make a good shot on him. That's a shot. That was, that was, a, good that shot. was a direct heart shot. Yeah, you could tell. Direct heart shot, man. That's very good. Oh, dude. That sounded so good when I it went into it. I know. And I, saw, I saw the fletchings disappear right, yeah. right there at the heart. That's perfect. <sighs> Guys, I'm not kidding. We've been in this blind for less than an hour. All the sable came in. He came in last and he fed around off to our right for a little bit. Then he worked his way to the water. It was like 19, 20 yards. And I put that arrow exactly where it needed to be. You missed it on the camera because he went out of the way of the blind, but he took probably 15 steps and fell in the road. So I'm guessing he's probably just laying right outside this blind somewhere. He didn't go anywhere. But a sable is an animal 
that I've wanted since I was a kid. This is like, I know I was really excited about my Kudu last year, but this one is truly a dream come true. I'm beyond excited. Make sure we go look for the arrow. Let's go find it. Okay. All right, you guys aren't gonna believe this. I came around the side of the blind and this joker's laying right here. I mean, he is, let's see. 30 yards from the front of the blind. Water hole's right here. He's right there. That's not, I mean, from the time where I shot him, he's 25 yards away. Let's go get our hands on him. I thought he was gonna die right here in the road. And I know you all couldn't see on camera. I peeked out of the blind and he was rolling in the road. I mean, he didn't go another five yards. Oh. Give me the camera. This is the most beautiful. Oh, wow. 200 grain wide with yep. bleeders entrance hole I've ever seen. Did you get that? I got that. <laughs> That's embarrassing. He died right under a thorn bush. Oh. Oh. My God. What a beautiful animal. God, Seth, he is old. Look at these hip bones. What an old. Uh mature bull I mean mm. I'm not a guy that gets too excited about size or trophies or stuff like that but just knowing that I killed a really really old bull that is past his prime has awesome headgear it's just unbelievable this this is up there as one of my favorite animals in Africa man I mean I don't even know what to say so we haven't found the air yet. I'm gonna go back over to the water hole, see if we can find this thing. And just so you know, I'm using the 200 grain wide with bleeders on a Gemini 250 spine with a four fletch AE Max. My total arrow weight, I mean, if you all watch your video, all these videos, you know that I pretty much shoot the same arrow for everything. Um, it's about 620, 622 grains. Let's see. I see part of it. Well, he broke it. Yeah, you can probably get in focus there. So, obviously this arrow is broken. And this right here is exactly why we do the lifetime warranty on all of our custom builds. I mean, that bull, when I shot him, I put it right through his shoulders into the heart there. And he came down on it. And, of course, it snapped on his, what do you think, Seth? Like the shoulder bone, like the yeah, leg bones? Yeah, probably a scapula that came down because you hit that opposite side shoulder and he just dropped. Yeah, he, so it hit him hard, hit bone. He s snaps on it. But this is exactly why we do the lifetime warranty. If you go on a hunt and you make a perfect shot and he breaks it with his legs or any shot, if you kill the animal, you hit the animal, whatever, we're going to replace that arrow. And this is a perfect example of that. Yeah, you, we could build an arrow that you wouldn't break, but you wouldn't want to shoot it. Exactly. So, all right, let's call Ryan, have him come join us, and let's celebrate. Congratulations. Easy tracking job, huh? Yeah. You obviously shot him. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. I'd be happy. Absolutely. He's a beautiful old bull. Yes, your shot is perfect. Huh? Yeah. He, um, he rolled through the road and barely made it here. I've hit this bush 14 times, though, in a row. All right, so they just gutted the sable, and Ryan got the heart and lungs out, and he's going to show me exactly where I hit the bull. So on the right-hand side, was the bull facing to the he right was, or to the left? I shot him on the left side. Okay, so he was on the left side. Yeah. So entrance would have been on the left-hand side. There was a little bit of lung clipped here, of the forward lobe of the lung. Went into the heart there, directly above the heart. You can see the heart is still intact. In fact, you clipped the very top of the heart there. So straight through the vena cava and the aorta. Came out the other side. Pushed my finger through the top of the heart there. And it clipped this bit of lung on the way out. The absolute perfect heart shot on any animal is that. Not too low, not too high. Quick, instant death. I just want to go on record that Ryan just said, I'm perfect. <laughs> he is, he is. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this hunt. Um, sat for about an hour, shot the target bull we were after. He went 15, 20 yards, and we've got him in the back of the truck already. So this is like we're midway through the trip. 
Um, there's been four or five videos in front of this one. I'm hoping we're going to have a lot after this. So if you haven't watched the ones before it, go watch them and stay tuned for the ones coming in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.